In this video, we're going to go over a few troubleshooting tips regarding UVs and mesh layers. Every once in a while, you may run into a situation where you are attempting to add additional geometry to an already existing mesh, such as this. You'll notice how it's much brighter, it's a different color, and it has UV seams applied to it. Why is this happening? Well, there are actually two different reasons in this case. One is, I'm not on the right layer. You can see how this is created on this layer and it's also on the wrong UV map. Okay, you can see here this is a body UV map and I'm working in the head region. So let me go back to the body UV map. You'll notice how it gets much brighter here when I select the head. So it's effectively highlighted. I think 62 is the default opacity value. So you can see it's much brighter and even more so when I have the right layer selected. This highlighting effect lets the user know what mesh and what UV map is selected currently. If I select the other layer with the head UV map chosen, it is no longer highlighted. Let's go back to the body. and You can see how it's bright here and it's bright here. Okay, because these polygons were added to this map. Whichever one I have chosen, that's the map it's going to get added to. So that's why you have this strange behavior. Let me go ahead and undo a few times. Okay. So now let's go ahead and go back to the right layer. Again, you see how it's highlighted. And we want to go back to the proper UV map for this section. If we want to place this on an entirely new and separate UV map, we can do that by going here and choosing Add New UV Set, and it will give us the ability to name it in the process. But in this case, we don't want to do that. We want to stick with this one. And if you need, you can reduce the opacity, and it's still much brighter than the rest of the mesh. So I'll go ahead and fill this with our fill tool. Let me start down here. And I'll just fill in this one piece. Try to R fill. I'll connect that up. Then up here, connect that up. And we can see down here when we go to the UV section, any one of these that I select will activate the UV tools. You'll see a change here. And the reason for that is there is a seam that's broken here. I need to just click that to fill that seam. Now, all I need to do to update this island only is go ahead and select it, then come over to the selected section and click 2GU. It stands for Global Uniform Unfolding. When I click that, it's going to unfold just this UV island that's selected. And I'll control click that, or I could hit control D, which is a universal deselect command in 3D Coat. It already fixed this, so I really don't need to do anything else to it. And with that, we will conclude this quick tip video. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.